everyone, welcome back to the studio. I'm Leah for those of you who don't know me. If you're coming from Rosie's video or other corners of the interwebs, welcome. If you clicked on this video, you kind of know what we're doing, but it's a very, very special video that I'm extremely excited to film. And if you're watching this wondering who is Rosie, you're in for a really big treat. Rosie is known for her platform, East of Honey. She's a fabulous collage artist. Her videos and art is just incredible. It's fun, whimsical, brings in themes of nature. I certainly love it, and if you love my channel, I know you're gonna love this one. Although I mostly work with vintage magazines and her tears towards nature themes, I think that there is just a similarity in composition and what we create. And it's just so amazing to have two different collage styles that also have so much in common. So this is me plugging her channel. If you don't know her already, you 100% have to go check out her channel and subscribe. She's doing a sister video to mine and I just know that you guys are going to love that video too. So I'll definitely link it here. So about a month ago, Rosie reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a collaboration. I had found her channel as one of the first collage channels on here that I was just simply obsessed with. And it's definitely something that I wanted to do was reach out to her as well. I just wanted to gain some momentum first before doing something like this. I couldn't believe that she found my channel just because I'm so new on the platform, but it was so exciting to see that. We definitely seem to be the collage unicorns of YouTube because I just haven't found any other channels that are very similar to the ones that we have. And I just thought this was the perfect collaboration. Okay, now that that's out of the way, what is the collaboration that we are doing today? So for this collaboration, she sent me a collage kit and I sent her one. First, we're gonna open the package. Second, we're gonna look through everything. Third, we are going to create something incredible, hopefully, <laughs> you never know. And then step four, we're going to jump on a call with Rosie and show her all the pieces that I've made. Okay, well, I think that's everything. Let's head over to this studio right behind me uh, and get opening that package. So since the second I got this package, I have been waiting to tear it open and see what's in there and I'm so excited. So cute, she sent a card and a sticker. Leah, big fan of your beautiful work. I hope you find some fun and inspiring images in this package. Excited to see what you create. My hope is to stay true to my own style while still incorporating some of her elements into it. I usually don't deal with nature as much, but I really hope that some of those pieces kind of cover those topics and that I'll get to experiment with my own practice. As an artist, I'm always looking for ways to push myself and doing a collaboration like this is a perfect example of something that you guys can do at home as well. So right away, the first thing I'm seeing is I love these flowers. I think they would be beautiful. And these people almost have similar colors within them. I think it needs like one other image for sure. And I'm just not really sure what that would be, but why are they springing out, I guess, is what I'm going to be looking for. Next thing that's standing out are these people. Um, this is definitely my safe place, is some Life Magazine images. I like how they're all looking at magazines or have magazines, so I could picture these all being in one piece, like, Maybe she's in the sky with her book and someone else is coming out of the water, you know, something like that. This piece would be perfect if it was facing the other way. I think it could be like scaring the people to jump out of the flowers, for example, uh, but it's not facing the right direction, so we're gonna have to keep looking. I'm definitely seeing some piles of potential, so let me show you what I've put to the side. This was obviously the first one I did, but I was thinking that could be interesting. Maybe they're popping out of a camera. I also like the idea of the tiger, potentially. His perspective is not the right one. Like, I think that this needs to be looking that way. Um, and then I also like these beetles colors with these ones. So I think that those could match into it as well. And I could have these like all stuck in here with the people and maybe that's the, why they're running away because there's all these bugs within it. The next piece that really caught my eye was this one. I could definitely picture this being cut out and having something that they're all looking into. So some of those pieces that I cut out are like these where you could have like the fish and it could be like a little pond. So maybe it could be 
this with having the ocean view, but I have like the coral version. Maybe I just do this and then we look for some fish. I know that there was some fish in the pile. This one's blue on blue. I think that's a little too blue. But then I also love this photo. Um, the back side is equally as cool. I actually almost like this side better. I'm just not really sure what to do with it in this context besides maybe cut out this and have it in like the bottom of the sea or something. Like maybe I lodge this into that and then there's like two sea pieces, but I'm not crazy crazy about that. But yeah, very excited about that one. Next pile is just a simple little one, but I kind of really like it. Uh, I don't love this line across it, so I'd probably cut it short into a little square, but I love the idea of this woman just kind of lodged into the clouds in reading. That's exactly how I feel when I'm having some reading time or looking through life magazines, so I think it's just like a way to feel my feelings within a piece. I also have a pile to the side of ones I like, but this is something that I was thinking could possibly go together. I would probably cut out these dishes and then have it full of the balloons at the bottom and then have these flying up. And then I really love this image. I'm just trying to find the right person, but I would love to see someone like kind of, you know, lounging through the cabbage or I think this is maybe kale um, within this piece and maybe the sky is different. Um, and I also really love this chair. I could see like a little character sitting in it. I think it'd be really funny. So I have those to the side. And then I'm also keeping in mind this piece just because I love the jellyfish. Again, I could see something just shoved right in there. It'd be perfect. Um, and I also love this greenhouse. So I have those to the side ready to go in case a good opportunity comes up for them. So I don't know about you, but I'm super excited about all these pieces. There's a lot of stuff in here that I would never have picked out for myself. And then there's ones that I've used before, which is kind of funny. Do you recognize this from a video I just did really recently? There's definitely a lot of things in here that I probably wouldn't pull for myself and that's what I love about it. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this works like I was picturing. I wish there was a bit more headroom so that I could bring up the chair more and show off all this like arm detail and stuff. Like I could go like this, for example, and just cut it off there. Um, it is something that maybe I could do because then I could just have some white border around it um, and then she'd be like elevated over top of it. I think that's going to be a last minute decision though because I do like this as well. I would just rather have a little bit more headroom for her or have it pop out like this, for example. Now that I'm done the first one, there's something I want to show you. So just off to the side, I've had these lips and the fish. And at first I was like, maybe that would be kind of funny. But right next to it is my Febrilage things that are still out. I definitely need to clean that up. But look... I, I love it. <laughs> I think it's so silly, but I think that this is something that I want to work into one of the other pieces potentially, or just make it something on its own. So this is just a little sidetrack of something that I'm just going to put to the side while I create other things. And I think that it could fit in really well to like a landscape scene or something like that, or something kind of weird. So here's that photo. And can't you just picture this, like having a good time in this little world? The next one I really want to work on is this pile. So I think it's going to end up being this piece and I'm going to try to cut this out 
and try to fit in some of this water scene. Maybe I even cut out the people, maybe it's behind and under and behind them. The thing I like to try to do for all pieces is make sure to flip them over before I cut them. And I really like this image. I think this is really cool as well. So it's a tough toss up, but I think that for sure, I really know what I wanna do with this one. So I'm going to use this one. But for this one, maybe I'm gonna scan it really quickly just so I have that in case I wanna use it in the future. So the issue I'm having here now is that these photos are not the right width. I thought that I would be able to maybe do them sideways or upwards, but I just don't like the look of it. Like it works, but I don't, I'm not in love. Um, and even like if I cut this and had like different pieces popping out and stuff, I don't love these colors with this. I think it's a little bit too dull for what the piece needs to be if this is going to be black and white and I'm not really sure what to put above it either. Something more of this color tone is like perfect, but this piece is not big enough. But with the pile right next to me, I kind of wonder if this would be a good photo to be like lodged into like this, for example. It has the exact same colors. Um, I could picture it being like right behind there. I don't know, I kind of want to cut this out. I'm just really curious about this now. I feel like where it needs to go is either right in here or over here. I think if I did it here, I would probably have to cut this out fully and it might be too close to this guy. So I wonder if it should go here and I'll cut out the house in this wood for now. And then maybe I add these bumps of land back in after. Uh, it's always hard to know what to cut at this point, but I think that I'm gonna go ahead and use a scalpel and do like the basic line of this and then fit this in and see if that works. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a go. I'm really excited to see this piece coming together. The reason that I switched over to scissors halfway is just because I really wasn't sure how it was going to work out. Um, usually for soft edges I like to use scissors and pointy ones I like to use the scalpel but in this case I don't know if you noticed but they are both pointy and soft. Now that I have this house here too I would love to have like a couple smaller houses. This one is way too little it's teeny tiny over there. But I would love to have like a little house here maybe, maybe one up here. I know that the house came from National Geographic and so this is going to be my first material that is not coming from Rosie's package. I figured I could flip through some of these National Geographics and see if there's any photos that kind of have a similar look and feel. Other magazines just aren't going to have the same look. I know in Women's Home Journal and such, most of them are illustrated, which is definitely not the vibe here. I'm trying to get something that has the same feel and the same color palette as the coral reef. I just wanted to stop here and talk about the things that I've pulled. So this one is an illustration and is exactly what I just said I didn't want to have. But this little house almost, I think, could work. Here I'm just trying to avoid it looking like Bikini Bottom. I don't want it to look like a giant city, but I do see these like tiny houses here which could work. I definitely don't want these like giant buildings, um, but yeah, like maybe some of these. But again, it's kind of a different vibe, but I'm definitely willing to try. 
And then there's this that has nothing to do with that project. It was something that I was thinking about in terms of using this potentially. Uh, maybe this goes in one of the holes here. Maybe I cut out all of these and there's like fun patterns and it's just kind of like a weird fun piece. I don't know. I think that I'm not ever going to love this <laughs> little uh, setup of images, but I do really like it enough to try to make it something. So that's kind of on my mind as well. So the first photo has, again, nothing to do with this project, probably. I might be able to use some of these shells um, to tuck the houses in if I need like a little bit of something to cover it up. Then this photo kind of got me thinking, like, what if instead of putting houses, there was like a car parked like here or something, or even one of these vans like up here. The next photo is this one, which I think is my best bet if I'm going to put houses in here. Firstly, they're darker, so I feel like the depth of feel is like perfect for this. Collage artists like painters should consider using depth of feel and this is like almost a perfect color for what would be back here. It's almost matching these really far behind reefs. And this one's a bit brighter too, so I could even picture this one being kind of in here, this one over here, and this one kind of lower down, like the same perspective would apply for this one. At this point what's left to do is just cut out some things and I'm just going to try a whole bunch of things because right now I'm really having trouble imagining what this is going to look like. Just looking at this piece, I'm thinking of themes that kind of go with my other art. Uh, we got dysfunctional family or maybe the dream of home ownership is dead here because it's at the bottom of the ocean, like rotting away like a sunken ship. Or maybe it's optimistic and this is showing that you're at rock bottom, but you're working to set a foundation there. I want to quickly revisit this. I have an idea. So I pulled this photo from the pile that we just worked with and what if this was like here? And at first I was like, okay, there's not that much going on, but I love these shapes. I think they're so interesting. There's something that kind of reminded me of this pattern. Interesting, right? I think that there's something really cool here. I don't know if that is cutting out these rings and having them like loop into the design here. It would be like a bit of black on black, but then I would want to use this red with the shadows in the puddles so that it brings in like a red look. I think I want to cut out all of these puddles, put this in and then cut this out as well. So maybe I start with cutting out the piece. In order for this to get a full piece in, It'll probably have to be, I don't know, a little bit of black too. So I think that this is the route that we're gonna go for the next one. And I think that this one might start to be my favorite, just in my mind already.
Although I've only put like a couple of red pieces in, I already really love this. I like how this has like some black pieces coming through even. It looks like it has like a second dimension. I also just can't believe how well this fits. Like I like how this one little piece of asparagus is just sticking out here and it looks like it's perfectly in chains basically. This is definitely giving me like Edward Bertinsky vibes. A couple of years back I went to an exhibit with his work uh, called Anthropocene and it definitely looked a lot like this where the puddles were bright colors and it looks beautiful at first but then you realize that the land has been polluted so deeply that it's just like uh, unrecognizable to nature. I definitely love when you're just creating something and you're not really sure if you're having an on day or not and then especially with collage you know you never you never know what's gonna happen uh, and you know the creative juices just get flowing and you're making something that you really love. I think that that's just such a beautiful part of art. And I think that this piece is really interesting already. My favorite color is red and I don't really get to use it a lot. I don't think so at least. I feel like my pieces are generally not as red as I would like them to be. Um, so I think this is really interesting. And I also love being able to use green and red together. I think that sometimes they can be really hard to navigate as a pair and I really like them here even though they are like the traditional like Christmassy reds and greens. This is definitely a piece where I'm going to want to use tape so I just use this really thin clear tape. Because there's so many moving parts, especially this needs to kind of stay in place. Even a small angle, see it can change it so it'll go off or you know get out of go up or down not in place this will pop up yeah there's just a lot that can happen and I mean even this I could take and pop it through one of these so I'm gonna tape it down where I think it belongs and then that way I can cut behind the scenes and kind of make a more interesting piece you can see now with just this one piece of tape that there's so much of this picture missing behind the scenes so I mean, I could cut out this entire piece and then use it for something else. And then maybe it pops through one of these other holes. Maybe I make more holes. I don't know about you, but this piece is also, now that it has like these uh, gradients, is giving me also like a little bit of Salvador Dali feel. With a piece like this too, I usually uh, like take all the pieces out and scan them individually and then make them digital. But for something like this, this is just gonna be a one scan just because there's so many moving parts it's crazy and now we have all these other little parts i hate to say it but i'm actually shocked at how much i'm liking this piece i could definitely picture it becoming an art print if you're new here i just want to quickly plug my website it's flanzella.com i sell my originals and my art prints on the website would really love if you could go check it out save some time I just glued down everything so this is officially done I'm really excited with this the only little changes that I made while gluing was adding a little bit more red in here and this last little piece here I'm really excited to play with these scraps I think that these shapes are so interesting and that they'll be great for my Pantone collection that video is coming out next week so stay tuned for that and I know that this video is running on the long side but I can't help but want to try to make this piece While cutting this, I was wondering why it was so thick and I accidentally cut out a whole other person uh, on the back side of the page. And I think this is kind of cool actually. So I think it's like a happy little accident. I think this will be great in a negative collage. Getting our little dose of studio sun right now. I'm just gonna cut this lens and then see if the people can just fit right into it. The last thing I wanna try to do is cut out a couple of these bugs. I wonder if I can just like shove a bunch of them here, like maybe it's showing they're coming after them or maybe just one here and this guy's looking at it and that's why they're all like running away. Now that I've made it this far, I don't even know if the camera is necessary. You know, we could take this out. These guys could just be coming out of the flowers like that. And maybe there's just like a big bug kind of here. I wish that this was slightly bigger and I could put like a bug here for this kind of point so that this guy's like running away from it. These ones are trying to jump away as well, but then there's like something here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I can take 
one of these smaller ones and put it here because he's definitely looking that way. And then maybe it's something like off the screen that they're pointing at, but I know it's not as good of a composition that way, but I kind of I kind of like where this is going now. Um, I definitely might try to fit the camera in here. And I do have like a lot of different bugs here. If I wanted to have like a bunch of them like hanging out or, you know, up here on the edge of the bottom of the camera, maybe just to fit it in a little bit better. I even like the coloring of that one. There's a backside too, but I think these are a bit too big for what I'm looking for. I do love the shapes and I love little beetles. I think they're so sweet. But I think that, yeah, this one's gonna be too big, but these ones have the right colors. If I want another big one, like maybe one of them is on one of the guys. Um, like here he's pointing. I could picture this being on him instead. And maybe that's what he's pointing at. And I might even cut off the bottom of this piece. Overall so far though, what's really strong is the colors in this. I think they're incredible. I love the jewel tones and the darkness. I think that this is gonna end up being a really beautiful piece. I'm just gonna work through where this camera would sit with the people in them and then cut around each piece. I'm gonna try cutting this off digitally first just because I'm not sure if I wanna get rid of it or not. I do really like having this flower here and the text is kind of beautiful and I like having even the date and everything there. Uh, it's just like, maybe it'll look better with all these colors uh, as you see here, just like that. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm great, how are you? Good. So nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, you too. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this with me. I found your channel and was like, oh my God, there's someone else like doing what I'm doing. Like, let's be friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. I loved the package that you sent me just as a, as a starter. It was so cool to see. And I don't know if you felt the same way, but these are pieces that I would have never picked out for myself, but in a good way. Yep. So I feel like it was just something that really like pushed me and stuff. And um, when I was doing my like initial going through the papers and stuff, I also wanted to do it with a little bit of like thinking about you and what you would do, which is kind of funny mm -hmm. just because I had like different works. Like I, I don't work with as much, I guess like you have like more nature themes and kind of mm -hmm. like quirky animals and, and that sort of thing. So I definitely tried yep. to work that um, idea into mine as well. So I'm really excited to show you the pieces that I've put together. <laughs> I'm so excited to see them. Let's jump into it. Oh my God. Okay, so the first one, is I'll show you this one. So I'm gonna say I started off in my safe space. So I found the Life magazine that you gave me. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I, I love this. that. So this oh, is that's a, so cool. So this is a National Geographic cloud background that you had. It was like a longer piece. Um, mm -hmm. And then this is one of three of the people holding magazines, uh, the Life ones. I love that. It's so dreamy and airy, and she's just like having a great time in the clouds. I love that. I was saying this is how I feel when I collage and go through my material <laughs> first mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. You get a new piece of collage material. So right. that definitely fits with that one. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then the next one da -da -da, is this one. Oh, so cool. But it's basically like an underwater scene. I think this is National Geographic potentially or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have this house put in here. Um, and then I added these other three little houses. So it's just like a, a little underwater world. <laughs> I love that so much. How you nestled it in the coral. And I love that it's sort of like, it's sort of deconstructed the house, but it's also being constructed. Oh, I just love that. The juxtaposition, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's super cool. And I found these like houses separately. Um, but I feel like they're the right color tone. Like everything in here just like feels like it, it belongs together, which I thought right. was interesting right it's always so cool when you can find a pairing where it just like looks like it was meant to be like yeah that. collage number three is this one? <laughs> oh, is that asparagus in the background what asparagus. is that asparagus <laughs> <laughs> so it was funny i was watching um one of your videos more recently again and i saw that you had this red piece 
from your red collage, which is kind of funny. So it's funny, it found a home of it, finally. Yep, I went through those and I was like, oh, those big lips, she'll love those. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up using them. So this is something that I cut out for February Lodge this year. Um, and it was just next to my desk and I was like, oh my gosh, what if what if the asparagus was a person with lips? I love it. It's just towering over this scene. I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. What exactly is the the background, like the foreground? I can't exactly tell what it is. These are like chains. I don't know oh, exactly okay. what it is. Um, and then they had this like red background and I saw these like holes and I just thought they would be like perfect to add oh. kind of like red thing. Um, I was kind of going for the vibe. I was, I was explaining um, a little bit about how this feels like like Anthropocene or whatever, like the mm. thing where like the just like dystopian lands that have been destroyed from like oil mining and all those different things, mm. like kind of has that feel. And I was kind of thinking, I don't know if it goes completely, but the asparagus is kind of like, you know, our maybe our like farmlands are being ruined. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, totally. Something. So. Oh, and I, I love that you brought the red from the lips down into those holes that like brings everything really, really yeah. together. Feels a little bit more gothic than I usually go, but mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really cool. I love it. Four, we're at number four now. Is the last one? Is this one? Oh, whoa! Oh, the, those are the sailors. Yes, on the these boat are the and the flowers. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, and the camera too. Yes. So I guess I can oh. just talk a little bit about it, but this is like the Antiques magazine cover, mm -hmm. right? And then I took this and the Beatles are also within here. I know it's hard to see here, but right. I added yep. these like little Beatle guys in and I figured it would be like, they're running away from the Beatles and jumping out of the camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I love their, their red striped outfits work with the flowers surprisingly Sometime, right? well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I awesome. saw the two together and I just knew that they would look like really great together. Mm -hmm. It's so funny that flower, the antiques cover and the picture of the sailors. I s saw both of those and I knew they had so much potential, but I didn't know what to do with them. So I'm <laughs> so glad that you merged them together. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. They're such cool pieces. So I think like... that this one might be my favorite. It's so cool. It's like cute. a lot of details. I really love it. Yeah, it's got these like beautiful jewel tones too. Like you have like the bugs that have those as well. Like this one has like the oranges. Here's the oranges. Like I feel like mm -hmm. these just all belong together. Like when I saw them together, I was like, they just, they, they have such bright, lovely colors together. And it has like this dark contrast too, which I think is just really great. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you did such an incredible job. Oh, I love Thank them all. <laughs> well, that's my haul. I hope you oh, enjoyed it. so great. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to my part of the East of Honey Flanzella collaboration. If you haven't already, head over to Rosie's channel and take a look at what she's made. I was blown away by her beautiful pieces, as always. I'll link it above and in the comments. Working on this collaboration was so fun and I hope that you could really feel it while watching this video. If you liked this video, please like it, subscribe, leave a comment, and I hope to see you in the next video.